Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. We're back with The Sopranos, Season 5, Episode 3. So, last time we had the uh, Class of 04, I believe they were called. All these mobsters getting out of prison. Oh yeah. So we have Robert Loja, who yeah. I think his name is Feach. We have Steve Buscemi, who his, so far is going straight. Captain Tony. Going straight. And then we had... Um, I can't remember his character's name, but Frank Vincent oh, from right. Casino and Goodfellas. We just right. saw him once or twice. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. really talked yet. Yeah. But then, you know, Carmine is now dead. And so then yeah. there's, uh, you know, probably going to be some trouble with, with the, you know, the New York side of things. And, yeah. Johnny and Junior and... Uh, you know, brain, Brainless the second. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Carmine, yeah. little Carmine. Yeah. And then uh, the other horrible bit of news, Janice and Bobby are apparently married. Which was so weird. We thought it was so weird. In between seasons, all of a sudden, they're married. It's like, what? Because, like, last episode of season four, you know, we saw them being all lovey-dovey, you know, hugging and whatever. Yeah. So it's like, okay, they're together now, sadly. But uh, I guess it's just... Well, and when was she looking for her wedding ring that one time? Was that the end of the I th season? I want to say it was the first episode. Because she, yeah. she, with Tony and Carm separated, Janice was hosting, like, Sunday dinner. Yeah, yeah. And she was okay. kind of looking around. And... But it was like, what, they, what, what happened? They tried to, you know, we have seen some horrible things they on this show. They just slipped it in there. We, like we have seen married. animals die. We've seen people beaten to death. Yeah. We've seen all sorts of, you know, racist struggles. But nothing so horrible. But no, Janet. the writers wanted to spare us from the, you know, the, the sheer terror of seeing Janice marry that sweet, innocent boobala. <laughs> oh, <Bobby. laughs> Oh, God. And I'm like I say, I'm pretty sure that they recast his daughter Sophia because oh yeah, she, right. the, looked different. the girl looked different, but I think Bobby Jr. looked uh, same. the same. Yeah, maybe it was just you know the actress either was busy or or whatever. maybe yeah. folks on school or whatever. Yeah, you know? who knows? Yeah, but yeah, the interesting times are are ahead. <laughs> you know, with with <laughs> we bear, can tell. You know, separations and bears and oh my, <laughs> let's get watching. I was going to be there that night of the hijack. No, a couple of goons jumped me and cut my head open. I couldn't go. They could have killed you. You ended up in the ER. He's very glass half full. He is, yeah. Yeah, they're Tony. Yeah. <laughs> I got other sorrows in my life. Most of them are self-inflicted. Yeah. Jesus, leave Georgie alone. Yeah. <laughs> you beat him up every other day. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? I gotta make a stop. Are we about to see his uh, rain here? Yeah. Or see what he's like. What the fuck you doing? Excuse me? <gasps> That's Vince! Yeah! From Mike and Molly, one of our favorite sitcoms. Who the hell is it? Look through the people, you bug eyed bitch! Thanks. I'm busy here. <sighs> oh. oh. Want me to fuck off? How about I? Fuck off all over you, stupid fucking... Okay, our newest troublemaker yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Been here. Jesus. Oh, Christ, we're on parole. Oh. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Vince. Or whatever your name is. <laughs> yeah. That's Judy! No, it's not Judy! Uh. What the fuck? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Why am I on there? Ah! Uh, Larry David? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Junior. He's really... Yeah, he's... That's Bobby. Oh no. So you want something uh coffee? Are you gonna talk about Junior? Maybe. His observations, maybe? Of course of the promotion and all. I kinda thought I'd be out on the street more. What's she doing anyways? My sister. She's prone to depression, frankly. Aren't you lucky, Bobby? Or any partnership for that matter is a give and a take. In my case it was it was uh, take and Carms was give. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, like in the army, they salute one each other. In the yeah. mob, they always give a hug with a couple claps. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cutting the lawn? Oh, my own. Mr. Vitro the gardener? Somebody beat him up, broke his arm. Then came by and said he was going to cut the lawn. Oh, uh, it's going to be Feature's nephew or whatever. Yeah. That's okay, that. what was she again? I know it was you, right? Uh, she's some sort of a. Uh, we like saw the, her last time, at, right? At Carmine's funeral. Yeah. Is she with the New York families, or? Maybe. Let's go. Chop, chop, hit a woman. Because traditionally, like in the, you know, New York, like, mob, women were not, you know. No. How about this humidity? Ooh. Oh. You kick up the little Carmine. Taper. Oh. No. She's working for little Carmine. This'll muffle the shot. Oh. 
Adios, oh. you fucking skank. Oh god, right in it didn't work. It, it, or it's back in the phone book. Hey, look at this, Joey. Yeah. Today's a lucky day. Only made it to the odds. God damn. Okay, so it looks okay. like little Carmine and Johnny are are trying to do their own thing. Yeah. It's like paradise. I ain't like a pharaoh. I got my own room, cable TV. I have cable. He used to be a cop on one of the dramas back in the nineties, I think. Huh. You guys, who was he? <laughs> I just keep thinking of Stacy Keach when I see him. Yeah. Well, I think he's a Keach. I think he's a... Oh. He's a brother. There's a brother. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. His name. Problem's come, I never named a successor. And we oh. all assumed to be Johnny, because the uh, son's down in Miami at the discos and the whatnot. It's like after Alexander the Great died, when asked who should succeed him, he said the strongest. Uh -huh. And then he died. And his generals started a civil war to oh, carve up his empire. You have any ideas? What are you asking him for? He never even had the makings of a varsity athlete. What? What I was thinking was three bosses, a triumvir thing, like Caesar. Triumvirate. <laughs> oh. Damn. I don't know what to do. You got friends, don't you? So be my friend. Help me out. Yeah. I go, I talk to the guy for you. Get you back your stops. So you give me a token. I don't know. Couple percent. Oh, Polly. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. You've been away 20 fucking years. Which entitles me to earn. Which entitles you to shit. Good thing for me, then, that your book don't mean no gods to me. <laughs> yours is yours, Paulie. But what ain't is anybody else's. Now do yourself a fucking favor and get the fuck out of my store. Okay. This is why you hire Robert Loggia. Yes. For the explosive fury yeah. that can just melt the film as, yeah. as you record him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobby Jr. started wetting his bed again, practically Aww. every night. Oh, AJ smiles. You know, every day I understand more and more what Ma went through. An ungrateful husband, selfish kids. Fuck you, Janice. Heard you over there at the Motel 6. My aunt took the house back. Oh. Look, I mean, you know, if you want, I'm staying over my mother's and the place is empty. You can bunk with me for a while. No. <laughs> <laughs> him and Tony roommates. Yeah. How long are we gonna hold a grudge? Thank you uh, very much. Right. <laughs> Progress to the facade. Uh, Bob Vila. Yeah. I was gonna say Bob the Builder, but that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> and Barb will be here with the chicken parm and the veal pizza. Yo. We haven't seen Barb for a while, eh? Yeah. Your father never had the makings of a varsity athlete. Oh, what oh. the? We've we've heard. <laughs> what? It's not true. I let it in football. Those guys from Seton Hall were seven feet tall, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the kind of stuff I'm teaching my kids not to do. Hi, Hi sorry we're late. The Tappan Zee was a nightmare. Good. Let me unwrap these. What's a different, is that a different actress? I want to say, yeah. it feels different. We still get those season tickets, Big Brother? All I know is you never had the makings of a boss. Oh my God. It's his brain. Yeah, it's something. Well, get moving, God damn it! Will someone please tell me what's going on? I just got here. Wait until somebody else notices that he's repeating things or mm -hmm. questioning things. Ah. Uh. Well, never enough body count for Lorraine. Fuck, I'll let her taste her own medicine. All right, whatever. Okay. Got a bug up his ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we both agree that little Carmine's a fucking asshole. But the fact is, he's got a following loyal to his old man. So? Angelo had an idea. Tony had an idea. Yeah. What's this, the fucking UN now? <laughs> Where's Junior? Upstairs, taking a nap. The garage is open, his car is gone. <gasps> You're supposed to be watching him. Dude. Oh, no. Junior needs more guys under 60 in his yeah. crew. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, he's in his bathroom. He's in like a... Black neighborhood. He's going to an old area. Oh my god. Yeah. Here. Where's Johnny? So we close now. I'm looking for Johnny Soprano, goddammit. Oh, well, he's been Johnny's dead. Johnny's been dead. Dead for years. Forgot he drove. Yeah, already or... drove. Oh no. Yeah, I realized that. Okay, you better get on the ball here, guys, and <laughs> start phoning people. Did you check the Ramirez's next door? I'm afraid he might have wanted. Well, 
You bitch. Well, she needs to parent properly, though. Not do it that way. Sometimes I think I love Junior more than you do. <laughs> That's that marital bliss everyone talks about. Yeah. And when not to fight. Is this the nephew? Lamana, yeah. He will win. Who uh -huh. knows how to He'll go after Feature's nephew. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be back and forth yeah. with these two. Eat shit, pal. Why don't you take a walk, huh? Oh, oh. Here we go. Oh! Oh, that's oh. my thing! <laughs> oh! That's There's a... gonna be some heavy shit. That's at least a broken ankle. Ooh. <laughs> He's shaking the mower. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. The people in the street are like, what? It's all the violence. We just want our damn grass cut. I thought you can't even close the back. Look at her standing there. She's like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Benny this shit. She's a little calm on and Johnny comes up, you clam up. You got it, though. Say nothing, because you said the wrong thing. Oh, here we go about Junior, right? Yeah. Listen, it's your uncle. He's gone. I wonder off the Palisades for all I care. He's fucking dead to me. Oh. Just to be sure, so you don't get mad at me if he yeah. actually dies. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, can I go with you? No. Can Janice go? Oh. Oh. Poor guy just they wants to be with his dad. Cause... Well, yeah, they don't like Janice. I mean, she's. It's a job for her with the kids. He came with kids. And... Mm hmm. I had no idea you guys were that close. Close. We were like brothers. It's a shame then you can't find a way to work things out. Hmm. Christopher? Yes. Oh. Maybe you let him keep Lorraine, and you take a bigger piece of his Florida <clears throat> shit, the clubs. You know, it wasn't long ago I remember you used to wait in the car. And as far as I'm concerned, you should still be there! Man, Johnny is really worked up yeah. these days. He didn't used to be so high strung. What the yeah. fuck did I say? I'm sorry, T. I just thought I'm I... I gotta unfuck what you just fucked up! Just had to keep your mouth shut. All right, see, Chrissy's not Tony's nephew. Chrissy's Carmella's cousin. She was first cousin to Dickie Moltisanti, Chrissy's dad. But he was always kind of like a big brother to Tony. Vicky. That's what we were kind of wondering yeah. early on. <clears throat> Major Rico against Tony Soprano. Yeah. These things take years to build. Ugh. That's the trouble. Hello, handsome. <laughs> I have a car. Want a date? Oh, no. Even gals her age need to make a living, I guess. Now it's nighttime. He's not even having some lucid moments, right? He's just yeah. gone in that other direction where you think you'd kind of go, what, what am I doing right here? I need to, oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh no. Like Bobby oh, said, no. it bre he's breaking bail by being out of his house. Yes. Junior, what are you doing, yeah. man? Sure you don't want to tell me your name, you're not in trouble or anything. Corrado Soprano. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure every cop in Jersey knows him. Who yeah, he is. yeah. Well, at least he's safe now. Yeah. I mean, much we we don't like Junior. He's still. Yeah. At least bringing him back. So take him over, Janice. Oh. We're shitting your hat. Uncle June, stop! Thank you, officers. Thank. You. Oh, they're not gonna take him. Okay. Huh? They right. can just report, I guess. Yeah. How's things going in the man cave here? <laughs> the bachelor pad. <laughs> yeah. He may have Alzheimer's. I don't know. Good. Maybe you'll forget my phone number. Jesus Christ. You reap with yourself. You sure did. You think maybe there's a reason you're living all alone here, Tony, without your family? Yeah. Well, I sit here mired in a bullshit trying to be a good son while you're off dropping acid and blowing roadies. Roadies? Because <laughs> you got out of here for a while. But your hippie string ran out. And now you're back and you're going to do to this man what you do to every one of them. Fucking piece of shit! Oh, Bobby, just oh, hold yeah, it back. No, 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 no. You can do to him what she did to Tony. Jeez, Tony. God. He's losing it. Yeah. Because she came oh. here for a, le a legitimate reason tonight. Yeah. You want more responsibility? Stop with controlling your wife. Jesus Christ. Like, they're both equally terrible people, but in this moment, he yeah. is yeah. weighing the scales more. Yeah. And then from nowhere, he cracks the one kid's head with a shovel, and the other one he knocks out of a tree. He jumped out the tree and come at me with a chainsaw. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the liberties these men take with the truth, eh? <laughs> Just... 
Alright, how about this? Vico and your nephew split the Amy. He's the dyer, yours. What's the dyer goes to him. It's for the broken arm. I don't give him 500 bucks. I already told a guy 12, D. Well, there's fucking compromises in life, Paulie. <laughs> I got you 500 for your arm. Oh, one more thing. You're gonna have to cut a couple of lawns on the comb. Even yard maintenance is not safe from <laughs> yeah. these guys. Harry Weiner, I was your mother's neurologist. I want to tell you the truth, me and my uncle, we don't talk much anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, uh, don't be, he's a hostile prick. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find he'll ask the same question every three minutes, what time it is? Uh... Maybe rethinking, eh? Yeah. He's not just being his usual crotchety self. Crotchety self, yeah. Oh God. Now what? Is this Robert Loja? Is he gonna murder them right in the... Oh. Well, no, this will be one of the extra lawns he's doing. Oh, right, for free. Oh, Johnny's place. Tommy? Oh. Ooh. There's a lot of wood paneling in this house. There is. <laughs> yeah. I didn't your cancer, doctor. I knew that. You said doctor. Man, he's really off the deep end. Yeah. It's probably, what, no short-term memory? Mm-hmm. Believe me, there's plenty I'd like to forget. Yeah, you and me both. All right, let's assume that you didn't know what you were saying. That Why's it got to be something mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you were always good at something or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I mean, don't you love me? Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's, it's called Where's Chuck? Johnny. Yeah. You did get it cured up there. I know, it was a real somber ending. Oh. And and stuff like this really kind of drives home that, you know, for all like the, the obviously it's a show about mobsters and, and crime, but mm -hmm. really you could say that the, the main focus as far as the characters are concerned is stuff like generational trauma. Yeah. You know, because like yeah. Tony with his True. mother, you know, and Janice, you know, because they're, they're both terrible people now. But they are that way because their mother exactly. was such an evil, evil the witch. Result of their upbringing, and then yeah. and Johnny was also, you know, criminal, whatever. Yeah. But yeah. and then now we're getting into stuff with, like, like Junior. You know, he's always been obviously like older, so he deals with that sort of thing. Like whenever, like uh, Olivia or anyone else in his age group dies, you know, it always really mm -hmm. affects him just because it's like, oh, who's next? Am I next? Yeah. And but now we're getting to stuff like you know people age and some people develop you know Alzheimer's well, it's because or he hit his head right he has that too. a bunch of mini strokes now and... but it's like you know he's you know wanted to see his brother goes back and all of these old places he used to know are mm -hmm. either burned down or they're mm -hmm. new owners and you know and then just at yeah. the end they're like you know for for all he's done in his life and and you know for for 15 minutes he was this all powerful boss before yeah. tony kind of took took charge yeah he's just a a very sad old man he's just right a now. frail old man yeah that's right that's what it all comes down to right yeah and it, as much of a of a bastard that tony is you know you could tell that like the, that athlete stuff really you know because as as the whole show is has been proving you know stuff with his childhood you know really kind of gets him deep so mm -hmm. it's like you know, with the like the athlete stuff it really presses buttons and like well it's because it's something that's he's really sensitive about and then just keep saying something like he said why is it always something mean right? yeah why doesn't it come out at you know yeah. well, you're always really you had a really nice car or you were whatever you, you were know? better at baseball than yeah. football or yeah something but it's and I think it's like that with people too that have this kind of these kind of issues or the dementia or the Alzheimer's that that you know those past things pop into your head yeah. and, and you'd think if you remembered you know you don't remember all the good things but you remember things that happened or that were bad or that were yeah. different it, that those things would come tumbling out right and, and you know as much as like far removed from normal people's experience like tony being like a mob boss just yeah. you know that it was a very vulnerable moment when he's like don't you love me yeah like he's talking yeah. to his his uncle like one of the last members one of, of the his last and family and, and, and he's and, closest to as much as they had their things uh, back and forth oh yeah i think he knew he could always rely on him right because like you know from i'm not sure if they said exactly when johnny died but i think it was like when he and janice oh, were young yeah so exactly. really like junior has been more of and did he die of a heart thing or something or did he get killed well i mean all they said was that that livia ground him down to a nub oh, and he you know by the yeah, time he died just, he was he was nothing left yeah. but uh you know could have been natural causes or yeah, whatever but yeah. but like you know junior has been like mm -hmm. 
you know, almost a parental figure, especially mm-hmm. these days when like Tony comes to him for advice. He always comes to the house and he gets, you know, Junior's sort of like yeah. take on yeah. giving to this person or that, that person. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, as much as they can argue, they, you know, yeah. arguably other than, than, you know, his kids, Jun- that's like the closest familial relationship Tony has. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's destructive all around him, right? Him and Janice and mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, the, you know, that scene with Janice was like, you know, I'm I'm sure a lot of people, you know, with, with just like that kind of like toxic sort of family background can really kind of relate where it's like, oh, yeah. you're both damaged people, like yeah. hurt people hurt people, you know. But at this point, it was like, she's there because of Uncle Junior and it's, it's she wasn't wrong no. about what she was doing right at that moment. He and was, Tony just brought up everything. He was and, just, he was stewing in his, yeah, you know, yeah. anger and, and yeah. resentment and yeah. as he always does, lashes out at other yeah. people. And, Plus he's, you know, he's... He hasn't really addressed very much that his marriage is crumbled and all that stuff, no. right? I mean, and we didn't see Karm at all. That's no, so did we? No, we just yeah. saw AJ for uh, yeah. one scene. Yeah, no, no matter. Or, yeah. But then, yeah, just you know, a lot of lot of you know broken families yeah. in this show, and yeah, it's very sad despite all the violence. Yeah. Now for episode four. Is that AJ? No. Is he learning? Uh. Yes. He is. Look at this cocky little prick. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened to the DeWalt. Well, he gave it to to Brian, right? Yeah. Remember the, the yeah. excuse was he was here borrowing tools. Yes. He just gave yeah. it to him. He's blaming Carm. Yeah. Jason, don't put pine cones in the filter. What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> They will probably go through their entire lives not knowing that their father's sperm was smuggled out of jail to get Nancy pregnant. Oh, God. <laughs> what did your therapist say? I don't see her no more. Why not? Well, I tried to ask her out, and then when she <laughs> yeah. declined, I called her some bad words. Yeah. <laughs> AJ's lousy academic performance. With us. Why don't you cut him some slack? No, that's your department. I get to be the prison warden. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Lorraine. I'm oh, Bill. Lorraine. Who's that? Well, this is the the one who was kicking up to. No, little... but him. Who's oh. the? Must be. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Uh oh, he's already. Oh. Oh. Must be one of one of Johnny's guys. Yeah. Uh oh. He's making a move. Yeah. Oh God. You were warned, Lorraine. The money goes up to John. Oh Jesus. Or I guess Phil's guys, but yeah, Johnny gave the order. I bet. Yeah, we go all out. We'll steamroll right over John. That looks like F- Frankie Valley. Oh, damn. Yeah. Tell him about the time uh, Tony and Jackie April knocked over your card game. That oh, was the oh the one, the story that Ralph told. First of all, it was my game. Features forgiven, even if he hasn't forgotten. Yeah, careful. Tony's the boss now. Yeah. Don Antonio. Wow. <laughs> I hope somebody's writing all this down. Who gets what percent and where? I know. And which it's... company and. Oh, talks. Oh, no, Carm, don't. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. You look great. Broads. Can I see you? Raise your three. Yo, my. This one. Oh, Silvio. <laughs> gets all put out. So, how's Lady Luck treating you, huh? Jesus fucking Christ. How many times this guy got to say hello? Oh. Yes. That falls off and she kills over. Okay, boots. Putting him in his place, yeah. but this is not a guy to take that line down. She's my only daughter. Oh, Ira, who's the lucky guy? My father's Asa Silver, head of commercial paper at Goldman Sachs, Upper East Side. I didn't get my invitation. <laughs> <laughs> that felt like a pesci moment from yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah. Like I'm a clown, like I muse you. Yeah. It's like, I. I, I <laughs> I just wish you had the minority. Uh, David Strathairn. Uh, I love this guy. If I'm learning disabled, I get unlimited time on my SATs. Is that true? Let's talk about that later. Yeah. It's not a concrete thing, you know. Do you think it would be a benefit to him to see a psychologist on a regular basis? <laughs> he just. Dominica Paolini and Sasha Caputo, they were on their way to school this morning and they hit a tree. Nick is dead. Sasha's in a coma. Aww. Those friends. 
friends of that girl, I guess, or oh, just yeah. classmates, but oh, that's tragic. She was here when I got here. You know who it's from. Yeah. I thought he was leaving this alone now. Well, is it for himself, or does he want to, I don't know, send AJ here? Oh. Whoa! Oh, did he buy him this? An old baby, the Xterra SC. Loaded. 3.3 liter soup for... Oh, God damn it, Tony. After just hearing about kids in an accident? Yep. Yeah, we can take it out. Once. Then this baby sits in the garage till you pull your... Okay, there you go. That's better. What? You heard your father. I was talking to him, not you. You... Ugh. She gets treated like shit by everybody in her family. You better be nice to your mother. I never advocate for hitting children, but he should get slapped for yeah. treating his mother like that. She's got the keys. That's good. Oh, good. Yeah. What are you, crying? It hurts when they talk to you like that. Yeah, and it's constant. Yeah. At least I have friends. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Come on, Tony, <laughs> you just have a bunch of flunkies. I'm running a fucking business, not a popularity contest. And I apologize for my use of foul language. Foul with a W. I was just wondering if the subtitles were yeah. wrong. <laughs> they hurtful uh. things to me in regards to myself. I still have great rigor for <laughs> you, even... <laughs> God. Despite you doing this, I apologize. Yeah, like it, yeah. you know, very backhanded. Hello, Mrs. Soprano. I thought maybe we could meet, have lunch, a uh, cup of coffee. I, I could share them with you next week, perhaps. Am I reaching, or is this a pot potential fella? Well, yeah, but even usually he would have said, "Just come and see me." True. Can I go to my room? I'm full. Jeez. Am I so horrible? You are not horrible. Get over yourself. What? You treat her with, like, disgust all the time. <sighs> I've never wanted to beat up a teenager more than I do right now. They get when you're crossing the counter with a giant jet airplane. A boring 747. <laughs> boring? <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking about what Carm said. Yes. Like, really? Are they going to laugh this much for that kind of a joke? Yeah, just because it's him, right? Because look at Feech. He's it's not funny. laughing. Yeah, she planted that seed of doubt. You guys like Jeez. The <laughs> oh, they're valets. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Wow, they just came in. The whole... <gasps> Oh no! The wedding. The wet. The yeah. Because he said she's like the you know the family's rich, right? Dad right. just yeah. Now they're still the oh. cars. Oh, oh man. no! That was a fucking SL55 convertible. You know how long my brother was on the waiting list for that thing? Why is he yelling at him? I'm a total dick if I leave here. Just tell mom I'm on my way up. She's just gonna call back. <sighs> You better stay there and be home on time tomorrow. I don't want any shit from mom. I sincerely hope something bad happens to him. Yeah. Just, you know, because he chose this. Yeah. There should be consequences. Stupid teenager. Aw. It's five minutes of relaxation. Where's Furio when you need him? Yeah. Well, <laughs> fleeing for his life, because remember Tony yeah. said if anyone sees him, he's dead. Hello? Mad High. Is your brother there? He's not answering his cell. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but he was pretty zapped. Hmm. We're in the middle of a movie, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Everybody treats her like shit. Yeah. She's so lonely. Yeah. They're partying in there. Oh. What was the name of the suites? That's what she's probably talking about. Yeah, right? the Hudson playing. suites or whatever. Uh oh, here it comes. Yeah. Hey, Tony, I happened to mention about my expensive in laws, and then at the wedding, there was a robbery. I had to sedate my own little girl at her wedding. Aww. Who was it? Oh, Feech? Was, it, uh, was it Feech? I was just thinking. All that's missing is a tiger in the bathroom. Yeah. They fucking crazy glued you. Oh. He glued his oh. face. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh my god. Oh god. You deserve it, but. Oh. Yeah. Shaved off his eyebrows. Yeah. God 
damn you! Oh. I've been going crazy trying to reach you. Later, I'm. What happened good. to your face? He looks. You're a liar. Uh -oh. Fuck you. What are you oh. saying? Get him. Get, Get him, Carm. Ah, you uh, fucking asshole, man! Please. Dad's here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Dad. I was just taking out the trash. Yeah, sure. What'd you say to your mother, Tony? What did you say? I said the F word. Look at your face. If you got some kind of sexual proclivity <laughs> with that teacher or whatever. <laughs> I had a few beers, but it just made me sick. How can anybody believe what you say? Because I told you. You never believe me. Because There's you're a... lying all the time. There's a reason for that. I am sick of your bullshit. Both of you. He can go live with you. Yeah. Take, take him. him. Yes. <laughs> no. Take him. She can't parent him anymore. He won't. He won't. You don't know what it's like to have your son hate your guts. He doesn't yeah. hate your guts. Oh, thank you. You're not here. You don't see. To get him to love me as much as he loves you. He loves you. It's just... You're his mother. It's different. I can't be the... That's no excuse. Yeah. I love my mother. I'm not an asshole about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That's perfect. <laughs> 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 Who's got AJ and he's got Artie. Oh, man. Yep. You have anything to do with that wedding takedown in Ringwood? Why, is that a problem? When were you going to tell me about it if I hadn't called you, he? I'm here now. I'm telling you about... <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Sack told me about this guy in New... Johnny Sack. <laughs> I said, as long as you don't step on anybody's toes. So far, you stepped on everyone's toes. Yeah. Yeah, he's just running around town like a bull in a china shop, hey? Yeah. Nip it in the bud. Feach. He's well liked, he. That's another thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, what's going on here? What do I do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Olsen and Johnson. How you doing? Oh, sit down. Oh, we gotta do this shit. You don't wanna know. It's all fucked up. What? They doing this on purpose? Yeah. They're feeling him out, see yeah. if he'll... Yeah, to see if he'll take it. Yeah. Park the load here. This way I'm around. Keep my glimpse on the stuff. I just know that if he didn't get into a good enough school to interest him, and he dropped out, went to work as a waiter or something, he, he wouldn't last a week. My husband can be very magnetic. He's you know, bigger than life. And I was so young. Oh, Carm. Aww. Don't spill the tea with this guy right away, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Supervisor Curran, parole board, oh. site visit. Ooh, did they call the... He's got the TV. Oh. That's funny in a place just last week. Is that new? Oh, that's the TV. Oh. Let's go out and open it up. You want to see my fucking garage? You've never seen an oil stain before? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like Tony said, nipping in the bud. Yeah. You going to send him back? I mean, violate. I think when you violate your parole, don't you immediately go back? Or I'm fairly certain. Yeah, all right, that's enough. Go upstairs, do your Spanish homework. In 15 minutes. Uh, there we go. Gonna, he's going to get it now from see what Carm's been putting up with. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like such an idiot with the, with the eyebrows. Well, I'm not sure. Are they growing back or did he draw someone? I don't know what's going on underneath the... He's going back. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Somebody be there waving to him. <laughs> so Robert Loesch has done his three episode arc. On the it looks like. Man was a legend. Christopher agrees, by the way. Well, that's nice that he agrees. But I'm not running a fucking popularity contest. Remember mm. he said that? Running a business. And now she's in this big house all by herself. Yeah. Aww. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah. Empty nest. 
but he's going to find it's not going to be so fun maybe over with Tony. I mean, obviously a bunch of men around, sitting around eating wings and farting is, you know, yeah. can't for, be beat, apparently. But... For about five minutes, but... Aww. Yeah, she saw. Hmm. Wow. Robert Loggia somehow managed to outpace Richie <laughs> and Ralphie yeah. in terms of getting, like, I should off the show. Yeah, getting under the skin right away, eh? He didn't even try to to tone it down or he was back off instantly. Was just, a problem. Yeah. There but, was something he just right into it. But like he said, he much like Richie, he had a problem taking orders from Tony, who he saw as a kid. Yeah, because yeah. for Richie, it was like, oh my my little brother's yeah like friend you yeah. know with feech it's like this this kid used to be like you know i was a kid kid when he was a, yeah you know the, this little yeah. punk just doing whatever now he takes yeah. orders from him and yeah. he could, just could not bridge that gap for him it was like it, you know he could not fully respect him yeah yeah and and, and you know just like a psychotic mm -hmm. personality where he's just you know i'll you know drop off a hat he can break someone's arm and mm -hmm. you know do stuff yeah. but robert loja like he's such a such a good actor for yes. especially for this kind of role he's in it for just three four episodes yeah he makes an impact yeah <laughs> like when he yeah. starts like shouting and, and assaulting people and it's yeah. like a very memorable impression for such a short run you well, know well it's funny these guys they want to they want to come right back in and be right where they left off i mean earning yeah. stuff too but in in the grand scheme of the group right telling the best stories and just being you mm -hmm. know they don't they don't he's how long has he been 20 years do you i think so like yeah things have changed right exactly read the room and all that stuff well yeah. it's like remember uh richie with that that whole uh, leather jacket he gave tony mm -hmm. remember he kept telling that story oh this guy was the biggest toughest guy i took him out you know but like that was back in what the 70s and yeah like he yeah. kept telling the, that story over yeah. and over like you're really like your your glory days are behind you yeah <laughs> I imagine it must have been fun for, for Robert Loggia just to go absolutely oh, yeah. nuts yeah. You know, just on the screen. Yeah. I wonder, though, if it's going to... anything With Cousin Tony, is it going to come up? Because they both were yeah. in there together, right? And well, out together. Yeah. And, and then Feature, at least, was, was trying to be, I don't know, just like, you know, supporting him. Because he kept, like, giving him money mm -hmm. and, you know, bringing him yeah. to the game. And yeah. So we'll see where that goes. Yeah. And, and yeah. then fucking AJ, man. Just... Like, what an ungrateful little brat. Well, you think one of these parents has to pay for that hotel room. Yeah. Right? And all that they did. I mean, just, yeah. just Shaved off his eyebrows, glued him to the rug. Yeah. Just, and and that's all in fun. And, you know, so it looks ridiculous. Like so there's the reward there. He looks ridiculous. For five minutes of, or, of, yeah. of a joke of or a something. Joke. Or, you know, or, jokes, yeah. Well, and, like you said, we didn't do, do any drugs, but. We saw him smoking. And... Well, he, well, he, that, he just, yeah, lost. Yeah. But Tony's going to find out now, right? Because it's true. Karm had to be the, the oh, police Disciplinary. And... Yeah. He he got all the, you know, buy you this, I'll buy you that, because I only see you for a little while. Exactly. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and like, for all of Tony's faults, at least he, he does still have, like, good priorities as far as his, his kids are concerned. Mm -hmm. Like, he wants them to go to school and get good yeah. grades. Now, he may, let's say, buy them a car or do something, like, you know, irresponsible sort of yeah. bad stuff like that. Yeah. But he still, like, wants them to do well. Like he, And he doesn't want AJ, I don't think, to follow him in. No. But he said it, as much before. Yeah, but he's, you know, he's there now and he's kind of... I wonder how that's going to go. And, right? and like Karma was saying to um, David Strathairn, like like if he drops out of school, goes to work, like you know he could easily fall into a bad crowd. Oh yeah, you know, meant, like yeah, like drugs or trouble yeah. or anything. And yeah, neither of them want that. No. So it's yeah, but oh man, it's like I I've never wanted to beat up a, a teenage <laughs> boy more so than now, which is how like disrespectful oh. he's been. Like like when it comes to Carmen and Adriana and them like yes they are complicit in, in very bad things you know by being with these men and everything but, no, on, but, that, on, the, that, but that's all aside but, but, but a on, mother and a son on, on a personal level yeah. you know things like that like yeah. we see them suffering you know their their, their lives are just miserable yeah. especially Carm with like going through the separation which is it's rough despite being free of a you know mm -hmm. serial philanderer like Tony uh, it, it's still rough on her of course and yeah. then with just how the kids are reacting like, like Meadow is off on her own yeah. and just like does hardly ever sees her or talks to her mm -hmm. aj is just giving her shit all the time yeah she hardly she barely manages to hang out with her friends yeah and she has no one else to really so to support now hopefully her. she'll kind of you know she can get into the like the book stuff yeah just other gardening things, right? or things whatever for herself right yeah rather than taking care of all of these crazy people yeah, exactly and yeah. it's like you know it he's your son you'll always love him but you're yeah. you're, you're free from all that negativity yes yeah so. well tony tony gets him now exactly to I, i'm really yeah. looking forward to that yeah 
Alrighty, well, episode four, you know, more, you know, fun, family, wholesome content with The mm -hmm. Sopranos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, season is really kicking off uh, strong. We're going <laughs> to go to some interesting places, I bet. Yeah. So if you want to watch the full length of our reaction, I'll put a link down to our Patreon below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that's all we have for you today. So we will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.